Next up, Will, did you know that YouTube is changing how, dis how subscriber counts are going to be displayed, attempting to shift the culture? Now, we spoke about it here on the channel, but the whole world was speaking about it, at least tens of millions of people, the Tati, James, Charles, Beef, and these real-time channels that get set up to track ups and downs in subscriber counts and, and sort of like weaponize subscriptions to turn it into some sort of a game. People obviously really enjoy that. Uh, it looks like maybe YouTube, who knows, possibly under the pressure of some of their uh, popular content creators, or maybe they just, maybe this is their own intuition here, but apparently they're going to change the way that subscribers are displayed. And instead of publishing the exact figure, they would round it out. Like, so for example, if you had 10 and a half million subscribers or 10.5, whatever, they would round that, you would see a flat 10 million instead. And then that would also remove the ability for third-party sites like Social Blade to be able to tap into the API on YouTube and show this kind of real-time figure because it wouldn't be updated real-time. It would only be updated on those rounded-off figures. So it takes away the game of weaponizing your subscription and watching numbers go up and down and having fun with that. Uh, now, this is obviously not exclusive to the James Charles Tati situation. This has happened in the past uh, Logan Paul, others, where people just seem to get a real kick out of uh, <laughs> watching subscriber counts go up and down and participating in that kind of game. So this really could shift some cultural components of YouTube and how people view subscriptions and treat subscriptions. Uh, now, YouTube has apparently started to experiment with this, but it's not rolled out completely. A blog post from YouTube's product team acknowledges that subscriber counts are extremely important for creators, adding that the change is being instituted to create more consistency everywhere. Some channels already have this display function, but YouTube's product team wants to make it more uniform. So it sounds like it's happening. And companies like Social Blade are, I guess, in trouble. I don't really know what the purpose of them is in an environment in which subscriber counts are only up, are updating infrequently and where the real-time number, well, there is no real-time number anymore because it's updated so infrequently. Now, I don't know how this will work on the back end. Like, will you still, as a content creator, see the real-time number? Possibly, I would think so. But the public-facing number will be this very uninteresting, rounded-off figure. And, uh, and yeah, I think it, the implication there, I think it will change certain aspects of the culture of YouTube, so.